everyone, it's Jeannie again, and I'm back with in, with my planner series, and I wanted to show you the setup that I came up with for my work calendar. Um, that's the first one I completed, and I did get um, my inserts for my Filofax, and so I will do that one next because I pretty much have that one all set up now too. So, um, but I thought I would start with this one and just do a video for each one. And this is the calendar that I got. This is my $9.30 calendar that I got from Walmart for work. And if you didn't watch my um, intro to this series, uh, I decided to go from a one planner system, which I didn't do very well at keeping up on last year, um, to a three planner system because um, I changed jobs and the setup that I had for my one that I started at the beginning of last year um, just did not, it didn't translate well for my new job, which I do a lot of traveling and um, have a lot of meetings and, you know, it's just, it's a very, very different lifestyle than um, the beginning of the year last year. So anyway, so I decided that I needed to kind of separate things out. And so um, this is the one that I'm planning to use for my work. Uh, for my work. So let me show you. It is actually a, um, it's like eight and a half by 11 size planner, spiral bound. And the thing that I like about it is that it's, it's got a, a pretty thin profile and I think it will, it will, well, I know it will fit really nicely in next to my computer and my computer, my rolling computer bag that I take on the plane. So, um, anyway, so I got, um, I got this and, um, to, to try out, uh, for a couple of reasons and I'll show you why. Um, I've decided that I like to write in pencil in it. And so when I like these mechanical pencils, I like a, a 0 0.5 size lead. So I like a pretty, a pretty fine point. Um, and so I have a, I have several of these. I have one that I'm going to keep on the binding here and then I have a couple more in my bag in case I run out of lead or whatever. But one thing I did find about this binder is that the pages are pretty thin so a lot of writing you can see front to back so pencil not only can I erase things and keep it a little bit neater but um, I also you know don't have the bleed through so anyway it has an, a, um, a very um, substantial for a $10 planner plastic cover and um, when you open it up it has and it this is actually by the manufacturer is blue sky blue sky img.com so if you're looking for this one, like I said, it was, um, this is what it looks like. It's the weekly monthly planner, um, for 2014. And I got it just at, in the stationary section at Walmart. Um, this first page is a laminated page. And as you can see here, I'm using this kind of like a fly leaf. I just have a variety of, um, sticky notes and flags and different things on here that I can use, um, as I work in the planner. And so I have just, you know, just probably four or five of each color. Um, I didn't want this to be real bulky. And of course, because since it's a spiral brown, there's no place to really put a pocket in. So those are just sticking on there and I will just pull them off um, and stick them on the calendar as I need, as I need them. So anyway, so that's what I'm using that for. Um, when you open this calendar, there's the yearly overview on the left hand side on that back side of that laminated page. And then you have the quick reference, um, page and I just have sticky notes on there now to cover up my personal information. Um, cause I did put my name in it and my email address and that kind of thing. I don't know that I'm not really going to put friends and family in here cause this is a work binder. Um, I might put, I might put my, some of my work people that I travel with just in case somebody would find this and need to, to contact somebody. Um, as you can see here, then the next page, and I haven't done anything too with um, contact numbers. I might fill in some of these. Um, I was thinking about the the site that I'm at now. Um, we will only be there through March, and so, and I pretty much have all those people in my phone now. But I'm thinking I might use this as we move on to our next site. I implement medical. Um, electronic medical records and so we'll be finishing up a site and then moving on to another site so I'll have a whole new list of contacts for the facility where I work and stuff so um, I haven't really decided if I'm going to get serious about using this page for contacts or not um, so I haven't done anything with it yet um, and then we'll open it up to the January calendar and I do plan to color code this. Um, as you can see, I've got a little bit of it highlighted. I've decided to highlight anything that I actually, it is actually a, a, um, oh gosh, like, um, something I actually have to turn in. Um, let's 
that's a physical like report or document um, that I have to turn in and or um, you know electronic document that is a timed I'm gonna do in yellow and then anything that has to do with my personal expenses and that kind of thing I'm gonna do in green so I probably will end up color coding this I may do another color for like Webex meetings and stuff like that but I find a lot of my highlighters are dried up so I need to get some more highlighters which oh darn you know I love to buy office supplies so anyway but you can see here so I've got um, I've got January all filled out with um, things that I need to do um, that I already know of that I need to do and then I can add to this as I need to. Um, I'm also using this running notes section for kind of ongoing things. Um, I have several things that are ongoing, um, you know, different different um, parking lot items I need to keep up on and different uh, meetings that I, um, that have some uh, action items that I need to follow up on and that kind of thing. So anything that's kind of ongoing, I have it um, separated by the units and anything that I have that's ongoing is going on my list over here so I can just kind of keep a running tab of what I need to be working on throughout the month. And then when we get over to the uh, the Week at a Glance page, um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. This actual, this did not come with the binder I, I actually had this in one of my um, one of my old planners and it's one of those ones that kind of snaps in and out so um, I just put it in to mark my week because I thought that would be really handy and I like having a ruler too and what I did here is I went ahead and I separated and let me let me show you this a little bit closer um, is I went ahead and did a um, drew a line between each these were just this was just one big um, you know one big day for lines and one of the reasons that I got this one is because I like how much room there is to write and I tend to when I look back at my notebooks that I had been using um, I tend to have like a to-do list and then a follow-up items and so I just split this down the middle and I have to do on one side and follow up on the other so as um, I have a lot of little details that kind of come up questions that come from lots of different sources and so I'm gonna have my to-do items my daily to-do items that I'm going to to put on every day and then as follow-up items come up throughout the day I'm going to make a running list of those two so that I can make sure I I check them off as I get them get answers for those questions or whatever so um, basically that is my setup for my work calendar um, I went through and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through and put like I'll probably put all my appointments since I have all my appointments on the the monthly calendar I'm probably not gonna go in and write in all my appointments again um, this is strictly I think going to be um, you know what I need to do specifically for that day and then things I need to follow up on that come up for that day so um, basically that is what I have I also on some of these weeks um, Oh, like like next week I have this I always do my expense report on Sunday so I have that down there um, I do have um, some things here that I have to have an agenda I have to get ready for a meeting and my weekly report and then we I also have some um, some testing events coming up um, so for testing um, those will last all week I did put those um, put that kind of up in the heading and then I have a um, have also, also have those highlighted because this um, round of um, unit audit testing will happen this whole week. So um, anyway, so that is my setup. I'm sure it will evolve as I as I go along um, and, you know, become, I may change it, do a little bit more with the color coding. So as I start using it and it evolves, I will show you how it's working. So anyway, so that is my 2014 um, work calendar and um, I will keep you updated. And the next thing I will show you is my Filofax, which is my wallet and is also going to be my, um, kind of my travel organizer. So anyway, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I should have another video up for you either today or tomorrow. Take care, bye.